are getting ready to hang a TV on our wall here. And TVs nowadays, they're getting thinner and thinner as far as the screens themselves. And in order to do that, a lot of companies are separating out the actual internal components of the TV and just having a very thin wire that leads from the screen to this box that controls the actual TV. That's really great um, for the technology side of things and you don't have a bunch of wires that are hanging down behind a TV, but you still do have that one wire. And even if you have an older TV that you have uh, a lot of wires coming from, you still want to be able to hide that. So today I'm gonna show you how to use these guys on the wall. They're these little uh, brush channels that uh, you can run wires through. They're super simple to install as long as your wall doesn't have any insulation. This is an internal wall and so it doesn't. Um, it doesn't take very long at all. And then all of our wires will just pass through down to the ground and we can put them in a console uh, that we'll have and add later. Let me show you how to do it. Because what we're dealing with is low voltage wiring or wiring that's already um, in case, like in the, in the case of a, a plug or something. Um, I'm not gonna use a full junction box. I just have one of these path, pass through boxes that uh, gives me something to screw into. So I've got this box and then this attaches right to the front of it, but installing this, very simple. First, um, you just want to figure out where you want your box, to, uh, your box up here to go. Our TV, the bottom of it, comes about right here. I have a stud right here, and then I've got another one over here. Um, and so I'm just gonna come over into this channel that's in between, and um, you can even tap on the wall. This doesn't have to be exact for something like this. But you can tap on the wall, and if it sounds hollow, like right here, it's very hollow, so I can go right there. When I get over here, the tap gets higher pitched. That means there's a stud right there. So I've got a stud there that I want to avoid. Um, I don't want any interference with uh, my cable for um, electrical. So I'm gonna avoid the electrical because there's gonna be wires running through here. And so I'm gonna come over on this side. Because I have these other boxes, um, I want them to visually line up. So especially with this one right here, I'm gonna tuck in pretty close to it. And so I took this off, put this just a couple inches away, line up the tops and bottoms, and that's where I'll make my mark uh, before I cut my hole. Now with our hole cut, we have our bracket that will sit directly in there. Flip it over, doesn't really matter, but my OCD wants the words to be at the top, so. If you keep slipping, you can switch to a flat nose. That helps. I went ahead and created the hole for the one on the bottom. And again, you can kind of run this wherever you wanted uh, as long as it's going to be hidden. So we have a dresser that's gonna be right here and then all of our components will sit in one of the drawers of the dresser and be hidden there. I just put mine level with the other receptacles that are on this wall. Um, just uh, line them up there and then I line these two up together. So I have my cable that we are just going to run through the wall real quick. So this is the part that goes to the box and this part goes to the TV. We just drop that through. Straight down and then pull that out. I can take the brush here, put this part through here. So that's gonna go right to the TV. I'm gonna pull all of this extra wire well, actually, I want most of that extra wire to just be in the wall. So I'll just feed that into the wall for now. Then it'll be out of my way.
Okay, so now we have our wire completely hidden. Once the TV is hung and the dresser is in place, you'll see no wires. It'll just hang flush against the wall.